Hi everyone, this is IDF Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. As promised guys, I finally finished my kits and I am loving the way they look. I hope that you guys like the way they look. Uh, this These kits, I only made five of these and, um, and they're all pretty similar. And, um, but I'll share with you what they look like. But I ordered these boxes on Amazon. These are beautiful pink boxes. Uh, they're, you know, bigger than the other boxes that I use for my bee kits. But because this was getting kind of bulky, I needed to make, put them in a bigger box. So after I got my pink box in, I actually ordered, I found this on, um, on eBay. And it's an old, um, I think it's, it's an older embossing folder and stamp and it comes with like the border embossing folder then the embossing folder and then it also comes with this little like a cameo uh, silhouette die so that's what I used to make my border strip on top of my box and I absolutely love the way they came out I hope that the lighting is good I actually have two lights going on to the side right there and um and i'm hoping that the lighting is better here than where i was uh record i was recording at my desk again with natural uh sunlight but it has been very cloudy here in florida so i figured i needed to move where i was recording because th th my videos were really dark so anyway this is what the box looks like again all i did was i cut a one and a half inch strip and i embossed it and then i stamped out the the silo cameo silhouette with um, a Versamark and I embossed the image and then I just cut it out with an oval die and then I, it was a nesting oval die so I went up to the next size and cut out a gold one and kind of uh, sandwiched the band in between the gold layer and the white layer and I love the way these boxes look now I'm gonna put these in a recycled bubble mailer because I don't want to put a shipping label on the box because I think they're pretty and the recipient will be able to actually just you know get the box turn it sideways like a book and stick it in some kind of bookcase or whatever organizing a uh, cubby or whatever they have in their craft room and I want the box to look pretty when they're looking at it so I'm just going to use one of my large Amazon recycled bubble mailers to put these in that way there's no tape or stickers or anything on the box so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one and look at how beautiful it looks guys like I said I hope the lighting is good um, one of the things that I decided to put in the kit are these uh, mirrors that we all get from the Dollar Tree and then I added some appliques and some pearls and some flowers and uh, like strand pearls and then the, the pearls that come like in a, a uh, like a band so they could alter the mirror and I think this one is the only one that has the pink mirror and the other ones have a cream colored mirror three of them have a cream colored mirror and then I have one that has a blue which is the blue kit but I only made uh, one one lavender and one more blue and not necessarily everything is blue or lavender in there, but uh, some of the things are. And, you know, the things I was able to get in that color. So one of the things that I made, I already shared this in the in a video where I made these uh, tags with the Tonic Studio embroidery hoop dies that I ordered. So I added one of these in here, and I did order some gold uh, ring binders. And I added a little thank you, little bag of charms. And I did add, order a cameos, but somehow they got lost in the mail, so I didn't have them to put in the kit. So that's in the kit. And then I included a resin corset, and this one is already colored. Most of them are colored. I think one of them has a white one. So here is a pink one. And then I added some uh, pink bows, and these are faux vinyl, and they kind of look like lace. 
I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. And they kind of look like lace, so I added these here. And they do have the clip on the back, so you could clip them on top of a bag or an envelope or, you know, a loaded envelope, whatever, wherever they want to use it. Or they can just cut it off and, you know, glue the bow some somewhere in whatever projects they're doing. And then I added some of these roses in an ivory color that they could alter a little bit more. And then I also at made some bows, very soft colors, in um, in a cream color again, and added the ribbon roses and some to the pearls. I see the pearls on this one came off. I'm gonna have to fix that because uh, those are adhesive, but I did add some hot glue, but it's been really hot here in Florida. So anyway, I added those, and then I, uh, and everything is based around this die collection that I have and it's called postcard picture perfect postcard and she is called Madam Rose so she's all die cut up she's not glued down to the silhouette uh, but she is dimensional and I didn't glue her down and there's a couple of frames in here also and uh, then I added some pearls to the back of her dress and a little bow I hope the lighting is good so that's one of the embellishments and uh, you can use the doll by itself or the, you know, on one of the frames or you can use um, both of the frames and make two different cards and you can use her separately. Another uh, one that goes with this collection is this one and this one is called So Chic and it's layered up the dress form is all layered up and you can embellish these more i will share with you what my personal ones look like and then i cut out this beautiful uh lacy frame in a pearl cream paper and then i also made the four corners that are decoupaged as well i don't know if you can see that but they are decoupaged so you can use them uh, in different projects so there are actually four different corners and the dress in this one. And it, it looks beautiful. I'll show you what I did with mine. Let me grab it really quick. I, <coughs> I like to leave um I, I like to leave my projects not fully completed. That way the recipient can um yeah. That way the re recipient or whoever buys them can alter them a little bit more uh, here are my personal ones that are in my stash and um, actually these are kind of flat because I didn't shape the flowers that are on the dress and I added the little diamond dots to the edge of the corset top and then I also added glossy accents I don't know if you can see it to the wood stand that's on the dress uh, the stand so that's what I did to mine to alter them just a little bit more. But I want whoever purchases this, because it, it's going to be a crafter, they can actually embellish it just a little bit more than what I have. You know, I want to leave them some room to be creative themselves. So I included that one. And then the last uh, embellishment to this collection, not in the box, but to this collection, is the bicycle and uh, I actually added the frame that the artwork that comes uh, that you know I get a frame and then I get the individual embellishments to cut out so the the bicycle up here is multi layers it's got several layers and foam in between and then I put in three of the corners that have the flowers with the butterfly on on them but they kind of move around because I didn't want to stick them down and then to ruin the backing where they couldn't use the backing I want to make sure that they can use everything that's in the kit so I included that one and this one is called it's also from the same collection and it is called so pretty and then I included this I made this embellishment and this is also tattered those are tattered lace this is tattered lace so it comes with the parasol and then it comes with the gloves as well and on the little gloves I added a little teeny tiny cameo on these so there's that <clears throat> and then I added a little table with the little 
upholstered chairs and the parasol or umbrella and then the little tea set and the table so that's in there I think I still need to make more of those and then I added I did some cameo wax seals in three different styles so all of these have the ladies in them but they're all different styles and I did add gold to these and then I added a um, a plantern on this one and actually there's a couple on here a couple different colors with the silhouettes in them and these are already shaped these really don't have decoupage layers on them but I did shape them so they're shaped and then here is another tea set because that's what they used to do drink tea and here is another beautiful tea set and I'm gonna share with you what I did with the one my first one I created uh, so that can give you an idea of what you can do with it. I still have my die sitting out because I'm cutting some more. But I added the um, the glossy accents to them, so they're real shiny, and they are layer uh, they are in dimension, but they're not layered up. This only ha comes with the silhouette and the actual artwork die with the details. But I did add the uh, glossy accents to kind of give them a shine so they would look like a porcelain tea set. So they could do that with theirs. And then that's the tea box. And then I added these ink wells with the, the quill pen. And these are from Carnation Craft. And then I altered some of these little instruments. Because back then, the women were supposed to know how to run a household. Uh, they really didn't have to do anything. They had servants that did everything. But they have to, had to have some kind of musical talent. So I added the instruments here, and I embellished them with pearls and some uh, little flowers that match with the, the die cuts, that, the embellishments that I included, and added a bow and the rib ribbon roses. And then I added a... Um, one of my mirror, uh, it's actually, I did a, like a card blank. So I did two base layers if they wanted to create a card, then the foil gold matting layer, and then the mirror with the artwork, and then the word that says you're beautiful. And they can create a card with this if they want to. So this is like, this didn't even fit like this. It was getting bent up, so I had to turn it sideways. So I added that. And then I had found these at the Dollar Tree, and I love them. They're, they're so vintage -y. and I love the sentiments that were on there, or the phrases that are on there, so I included these. And let me tell you, some of these uh, stickers are getting hard to come by. Everybody's grabbing them up, and they're getting harder and harder to find. And then I also included some, um, some uh, like, a pearl trim. And this is an iridescent color. And I made some buttons. I'll take these out so you can see them. I actually have a bag. Hold on. I have a bag of some that I created. And I'm just going to hold them up close so you can see. Like there's the bicycle. There's the Madame Rose. There's the dress form. And here's the bicycle over here in the corner. So I did them in different, because uh, they come in slightly different colors. So that's what I did with the buttons, and I made some for to go in the kits. So that's what these are. And they do have the adhesive on the back. And then I added some of these beautiful pearl gems. Look at how pretty they are. And then I added some cream-colored pearls. So pretty. And then I added some of this uh, vintage looking uh, ribbon, like a crochet trim. And then I added some, um, I love this color of satin ribbon. So I added some of this satin ribbon. This color was really popular back then. And then I bought this beautiful, beautiful trim. Look at how pretty this is, guys. So I included this in the, in the kits. So all of them are pretty similar. I'm just actually going to pile this on because I'll have to go back and fix everything. 
because my battery is going to go dead. So that's the one that has the pink mirror. And then here is the blue one that has more of a blue to it. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing because they have pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to point out the difference in like the mirror. This one has the blue mirror. It has the blue corset. And then it has these cream colored bows because I didn't have any blue ones. So I kind of made these with felt and lace. So I made these cream looking ones. And then, of course, I did the bows and added the pink, I mean, the blue to them. And then the trim is different in these. You have this beautiful vintage-looking trim that has blue in it. And then you have this one right here that's very, very beautiful as well. It's pretty. So that's the only difference in this blue kit. And I have one more difference, which is the lavender kit as you can see uh, the mirror is cream colored and the rest of the kits have the cream colored mirror again you come with the flowers the pearls everything the pearl strands to alter it this one has the lavender faux leather bows it has more lavender uh, embellishments in it there's the tag more there are the bows with the lavender some lavender ribbon and even the um, the doll as you can see is more in the lavender colors so there is a lavender kit there's a blue kit and then the other ones are more in a pink so there's that one and I think I have one more that I can share with y'all because it's yeah this one this one has more of the green in it. If you guys don't care what color you get, most of them are similar. They have about the same colors in them. You know, some things may vary. Some things might be a little bit more blue, a little bit more pink. But they're basically all the same thing. They're very light colors. So here are the green bows. Here is that green tassel with the tags. Uh, this one does have the pink corset. And then the cream colored, ivory colored mirror you know so they're all pretty similar i didn't add any color to these wax seals and then this doll here the madame rose has more green in this one so that is the green the green one so they are all 55 dollars shipped they do ship priority mail in us only and they are going to be first come first serve uh, and it's going to be PayPal, friends and family. Um, and I will link my email. You will have to email me if you want one. Like I said, it's going to be first come, first serve. I only have five, five kits. And um, when you email me and I email you back, it does need to be paid within the hour of my emailing you back and telling you, yes, I have one available for you. If not, then it will have to go to the next person in line. Uh, I hope that you guys understand. I don't want anybody getting upset over a craft kit. Uh, but that's how I have to do it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you like what I created. Again, I will leave my email in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.